Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a few key concepts of automation that you likely want to set up for your game. The first being duration. If a spell or feature is expected to expire, you want the active effects to drop at the same time. Like I have my character here with the shield spell on them right now. And if I advance to the next round, we see it drops as well as the effects drop at the same time. The second part we'll be going over today is concentration. Some spells in D&D require the concentration of the caster, but if their concentration is broken, you want the spell's effects to drop at the same time. Here is the complete list of modules I'm using in this setup. The ones that are crucial right now are About Time, Calendar Weather, Dynamic Active Effects, SRD, as well as Dynamic Effects using Active Effects, Lib Wrapper, which is a compulsory module for some of the other ones that are set up, MIDI QOL, and Time's Up. The other ones I'm using either for scenes or for my character sheets. Let's go ahead and jump right in into how we can set up the duration. I'm going to go ahead and start by going to my compendium, go to DAE SRD spells, and I'm going to give my character here the bless spell. The bless spell has a duration of one minute, so we should expect that after the minute is up, the spell will drop as well as any active effects it is granting to the players will drop at the same time. Targeting the player, I want to affect a bless. I'm going to go ahead and cast that right now, and we should see the bless status effect come up. It is worth noting that I had to do a little bit of setup for the settings for all of these modules. I'll be putting a link down below where you can find the same settings. It'll be in the description. Now, with the status on my character, I could advance the time, but because I am in combat currently, we see the status is not going away. This is where time's up comes into play. Because if I were to end combat and advance time, it'll go away. About time handles the duration of spells or features outside of combat. Times up handles the duration inside of combat. Not all spells in D&D are meant to expire after a certain amount of time. Some are meant to expire after a turn or a round or an attack is made. If I go to edit my shield spell here, we can see what times up is adding in right here underneath duration. This is why you also need to have it if you are using any of these spells that are brought in via the DAE SRD because there's a likelihood that some of the macros and features are tied to the times up module as well. It's also useful if you're trying to set up a spell with special expiration conditions and you are unable to find it in the SRD. Let's go ahead and move on to setting up the concentration for our characters and how we can have a spell automatically break if the character's concentration breaks. The concentration setup is going to require a little bit more work. If you don't already have the combat utility belt module in your game, you need to add it in now. Apologies for not mentioning it earlier. If you don't add it in, it will give you a warning though, just so that is clear. Next, we're going to go into our computer. You could also do it in the settings as well, but I'm choosing to go here and go to Enhanced Conditions. Enable Enhanced Conditions. You can choose what other settings you want here. I'm going to remove all the default status effects. These are the icons that are brought in with Foundry. And at this point, I can go ahead and save. And after you save, you will see a new icon appear here on the right-hand side, the Condition Lab. When you go to your condition lab, you want the conditions to look like the default D&D 5e setup, where you have blinded and charmed, like this. If it doesn't look like this, make sure you have corrected, and then just go ahead and hit save mapping. Now we're going to go back to our character and cast the bless spell again. When I go to cast bless this time, we should see both the status effect up here, as well as the concentration icon. There we are. Now, if the hour expires or even a minute expires outside of combat, both of them will drop at the same time, meaning my active effects drop as well. Due to the fact that I'm using MIDI QOL concentration automation, it is possible for the concentration to drop automatically. To illustrate this, I'm going to make an attack against my player here from the NPC and then switch over to the player's view so you can see how it appears to them. So we'll go in for an attack right now. We can see 19, it hits for 4 piercing damage, and we see concentration right there is being tested. Let's jump over and look at the player's view. Here we see the player's view, they have a pop-up. 
This pop-up is caused by, let me roll that for you. And we see they rolled and they failed with an eight, meaning the concentration drops and the blessed spell drops at the same time. If we take a look at the chat log, we can see exactly what the player sees. It sees they are being tested. There is a 10 constitution saving throw, which is correct because it's only four piercing damage. They rolled an eight and they failed. So even with the bless, they were not able to meet the conditions necessary. That's where we'll be finishing up today. As mentioned earlier, I'll be putting some more information in the description. If you have any questions though, please feel free to leave them down below. Thanks everyone. I hope you are able to use this setup in your own games.